Look at that fella. I got all oh, the Szechuan sauce I have. Oh, the Szechuan sauce I'll ever need. And it's mine, all oh, mine. <laughs> no, no, don't lick the sauce, don't lick the sauce. You intimidate, yes, you can lick my ear, but you can't lick the sauce. The sauce is even more intimidating. <laughs> Someday down the road, there's gotta be a Bond villain. <laughs> sauce finger. Okay, so back in October, in 2017, if you may remember, there was an event they held with the buttermilk tenders. Uh, apparently, they were using that as a means to introduce the Szechuan sauce. Or, I don't know, some special thing. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying this in personal experience. I went to a corporate one over in Lemonster, and because they were holding the event, not the one across the street from where I worked at. And the minute I got there, it was full of Rick and Morty fans, um, tons of, you know, McDonald's, people getting lunch or something like that. And I remember walking in and a lot of people were like, hey man, they don't got the sauce. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, that can't be true. So I went in there, there was crowd and stuff. We look like a cute couple, don't you see? We look like a cute couple. Yes, yes, you're very, very cute. Look, look, look. All right, good enough. Um, so I went in there, and very much, they were right, they did not have the Szechuan sauce, they're all out, um, but they didn't riot over it, which was the best part, they didn't riot over it, they didn't, you know, jump on counters and scream, I'm Pickle Rick, or anything that's stupid, they didn't trade cars for sauce or anything dumb like that, it was very nice, it was very quiet, they were like, yeah, you know, they don't have the sauce, but... Whatever, so they got posters and stuff, which was, you know, kind of cool, because I had, like, posters of the sauces and everything. Um, and then there were reports that they were going to bring the sauce back around in the wintertime. Actually, hold on a second, maybe I should show how much I have, because this is a crazy, insane amount. <laughs> how is it possible for one guy to have this much Sashwan sauce? Is it never enough? No, it is never enough. Enough is never enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. <laughs> this is, like, how many are it? Two, four, five... Two, four, ten packets. <laughs> and that's an interesting story I'm going to tell shortly. Um, but no, I wanted to make sure I had plenty for, like, friends and family. I already gave one to, like, one of my bosses, and he was excited, because I promised I'd get him a pack um, when they did the thing. You know, that wasn't possible. So, yeah. Um, when I found out they were doing the sauce, but I found out they were bringing it back, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. I just hope there won't be any, like, craziness like it was last time, and... Thankfully, there wasn't. I guess it's because they're being very low-key with it. We look like an Ergen Berman movie. Um, <laughs> Bella, you're a porg. You're always a porg. You're going to be a porg. Or was I? Losing my train of thought here. I'll debate if you want the sauce or not. I'll let you know if it's any good, okay? Nah. So... I guess being very low-key with it, they've had, I think, a podcast released about it, talking about the history and all that sort of stuff, um, which I think is probably the most cynical thing they've ever done. <laughs> you took something that just irritated people, and you're turning into a marketing campaign. How? No. Just, just no. Um, this, this better be worth it. This, this better be worth it. Uh, God. I have a little four-piece nugget here. So, um, if you're wondering how I got that much, how I got that insane amount of sauce, um, I went to two McDonald's, uh, just to be safe. I went to the one over by Lemonster, because it was a corporate one, the same one back in October. I know, you're excited. The suspense is terrible, but it will definitely last. Look at us, uh, Rabin Costello. Anyway, um, oh, that's a train of thought there. So I went over to the one in Lemonster, and... They had, like, a whole box of it. They were like, yeah, we just got it in last night. Um, so they were well prepared. Uh, so I would, you know, ordered four packets because I said, you yeah, know, yeah, friends and family, you know, that kind of thing. They, they were okay with it. Um, then I went to the one down near I am, just, like, a couple of blocks away, and they had it, too. And I figured I'd order the buttermilk tenders just to see there's a difference in taste. So when I go there, I order... I decided to get a little cocky because they got the, the kiosk screens. And so I ordered seven packets just to be safe. 
Um, and I knew they were going to screw my order up, because they did it before. No, more than once. So I look in the bag they give me, and there's like only two packs. And I'm like, uh, it says here in the receipt, seven packets. And she was like, oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, and goes over, drops in like the remaining um, five. <laughs> so this better be worth it. Because um, uh, when I went over to the one in the Lemonster, they uh, were like examining it, looking at, like it was like curious or something. I think they like opened it up and sniffed it. And so let's see what we got here. Okay. No. So. Ooh, ooh, I can smell fear. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting. It's like a plum. It's like a plum teriyaki. I don't know if you can see that. Whoop, whoop. Gotta be careful here. Uh, I don't want to spill it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just dip and show. That's how it's done. Just dip and show. Dip and show. It's like a... It smells like a teriyaki plum. It's interesting. It's very, very interesting, so... There we go. This is it. This is the... This is the sauce. <laughs> this is the sauce, Morty! No turning back! No turning back! Once you go to the sauce, you can't... You can't forget the sauce. I, I've built up, like, four seasons for this, and finally here it is. I don't know, Rick. I mean, you know, you're building us up too much. You know, the anticipation may be disappointing, especially this is all for a small little joke. Shut up, Morty! This is my character arc! We gotta resolve this quick and possible! Alright, so... Here we go. Let's see if let's see if this was worth it. Hmm. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, this was worth riding over. <laughs> hmm. Sweet, delicious root beer. No, um. Wow. That's actually good. It's. It's very tangy. <laughs> there, there's definitely a slight hint of. The sweetness in there, especially um, considering it is McDonald's. There's sort of... It, it's like a very sweet ketchup kind of taste. That's the best way to put it. It's a very sweet, sweet ketchup kind of taste. Um, it's not spicy. And... Let me, let, me, let me just get another little bit of that. It'll be like that Angry Video Game Nerd episode. I'm getting addicted to this. Um... Hmm. It's a very sweet, tangy teriyaki. Which I find very interesting. It's got a very interesting ring to it. It has a sweet and sour quality, but it's not very sour. I find it very interesting. So yeah, apparently that's why everyone was going nuts. So, um, taste fine with the nuggets. Let's try it with the buttermilk. Because when I was watching videos for this, they're like, oh no, it tastes really good with the buttermilk. You know, with the nuggets, it's kind of bland, but with the buttermilk, it gives a good zing. So, again, just for, you know, funsies. Uh, no, I'm not a huge fan of the buttermilk tenders for a couple of reasons. Uh, usually they, they don't go well in my colon, but just this once. We'll see if the sauce can rectify all that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a good component with us. Hmm. hmm. All right, it's official. All right. Watch it out, nice root beer. The buttermilk tenders have definitely a seasoning to it. I don't know what it is. It has a very odd seasoning. Um, nuggets. Just plain nuggets. That's what they are. But the buttermilk, I actually recommend them with the sauce. Um, 
I know it's kind of strange that I'm not a huge fan of these, but if I was to get this, I would definitely dip it in this. Because the buttermilk has a lot more seasonings and um, flavors going into it. Yeah, there's, there's a buttermilk taste. But with the Szechuan sauce, it kicks that up a little bit. It gives it more of a, a zestier kind of zing. Not a spicy zing, but at the very least, it kind of... Something that just gels well with it. I, I really can't say how. So, those are my two thoughts. I'm going to store these babies really good. That's what we were fighting for, people. Sauce. <laughs> Nothing but sauce. I'm going to finish my lunch and watch some Duckman because Duckman's awesome. <laughs> there. That's my verdict. Later.